Hi everyone, today I'm back at Lake Patagonia. This time I'm staying in a cabin, so I'm gonna take you along. There's number five. We're gonna be staying here. It's cute. That's a beautiful view of the lake. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a tour of this cute little cabin. First, the outside. It comes with a picnic table, and it's pretty big. I brought an extra table, but I probably didn't need to because this looks pretty big. It has a grill, but we can't use it right now because of all the fires. So we brought our own propane grill. I'm gonna take you inside the cabin. It's really nice today. It's cloudy, not too hot. First of all, you get a beautiful view of the lake. Look at that view. <sighs> so peaceful here. It's a pretty big lake. Last time we stayed down there in those little campgrounds and it was so hot in the tent. We just couldn't stand it. And it rained the whole time. So we decided to get a cute little cabin. It has a nice little porch right here where you can put your chairs and just hang out. Very nice little porch. Come on, let's go inside. First room is the kitchenette. It has four chairs with a little counter where you can eat. It has some breakfast or lunch right here. It has a nice view of the lake, even inside. It comes with air conditioning, which is really nice. That's the main reason I got this cabin. It has a mini fridge and it fits a lot. I put a lot of food in that fridge. It has a cabinet where I put all the junk food that we're gonna eat during the trip because you do not eat healthy when you go camping. It comes with a little microwave, which is handy. And let's go to the back. So it has four bunk beds. It has plenty of room for six people to be here if you have kids or family members. I'm gonna have my brother coming out today, so they're gonna be staying here. And then there's a room in the back. This is the master bedroom. It has a big bed. There's no closet, so all my clothes is on the floor, but it has a nice fan, a window, and it has electricity, but there is no Wi-Fi here, which is kind of good because you just want to relax and not get involved with the internet. Here's all my clothes. So it is a very cute cabin. I recommend coming here. Later, we're going to go to the lake and go swimming. So I have some really, really bad, horrible news. On the way over here, my paddleboard broke in half. We had it on the rack and the wind blew and broke it completely in half. I am devastated. I loved my paddle board and now I don't have one. I'm so sad. Look at that thing. Rent one of those tomorrow. This is where you clean your fish. Right here. Gallum. Set them up. See if we catch any fish. It stinks in here.
Those look poisonous. Look at, they have little spikes on the leaves. This one has some red spikes. Look at that. Lots of thorny bushes you gotta be careful with. Heads. See how close I can get. <laughs> Look at this big feather. What do you guys think it is? It's beautiful. Something really big. this beach. I'm on my way to take a shower because they have showers here. Not sure where they're at. All right, here's the showers. Let's go check them out. This is such a nice place to camp. Look at all those trees right by the lake. And instead of driving down here, I actually could have walked because I see a path that comes from our cabins up there. So I'm gonna try that tomorrow. We got my nephews here. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> we got some cooking going on. There's Gracie in the background. 
so beautiful out here. This was before I had kids. Tonight we're making fajitas. We got some chicken here. We got the onions cooking. Mmm. Fajitas are the best. Yeah. Yeah. You like fajitas? You like fajitas? We just had dinner and we got a warning and it says tornado warning. I have never been in a tornado warning, so it's pretty scary. It is pouring outside, it's super windy. We had to bring everything inside. I hope everything goes okay. So I'll give you a tour of what's going on in the cabin. We have my nephews here. The amount of energy is a quantum. They made forts out of the beds. We have the guys here. We had to bring everything in. You can hear the rain outside. Here. Oh no. We may lose power. Oh my gosh, the power keeps going off. And these are run by solar. Okay, we have a brave soul here. She's gonna try the GoPro in the rain. <laughs> right? Yes, I have to She's take gotta the throw the diaper out, out. so this is this an emergency. In our cabin. All right, uh, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The bravest soul in the world. Walking out to the tornado. Right? All right, Grace. We'll be waiting. We'll be waiting for you. Here she comes. Here she comes. I got one really good. Oh, she's soaking wet like a dog. <laughs> Today we're making some French toast for breakfast. There's a little rabbit right there. He's eating the grass. So I wanted to show you guys this cool cabana that I bought. Come over here. Look at how cute it is. And you just put sand at the bottom and that holds it up. It is so cute. And we got our blankets in here. Yes. Oh, we got our food, our snacks. We're gonna have a great time, right? Yep. It's raining us out, so we're hiding in our cabana, right, Grace? Ooh, Grace looks good. Oh. There's my honey bunny right there, but he's hiding in the pole. <laughs> I 
Ricardo. So we spent the whole day in the lake and it's full of moss. So now I'm heading to the showers to take a nice lukewarm shower because the water doesn't get very hot, but it still feels so good. Here we go. that may have a fungus. All right, for this, you have to push the button in. And a lot of people think that the showers aren't working, but you have to push it in and there's no hot or cold. You just turn it on. We had a wonderful day today. Now we're cooking dinner. It got kind of late on us because we were playing beach ball. So tonight we're having for dinner. We're trying to oh, check for mold. Some of our patties there. got mold on them. One? We're having Beyond Burgers, which is a meatless patty, but they're really, really good. Little bugs are trying to get in there in our buns. Some of them have mold on them, so we're trying to filter through them because we don't have any other buns. But that is our dinner, right? So what should I say? I tell them what we're having for dinner. Well, we're having hamburgers mm. with some bread. And do we have drinks? Let's show them the drinks. We have some drinks here that are going to be and drinks. And mama walking down. Uh-huh. Think is the bobcat. Mm. Which ones look like? One? Yep.
Oh, oh, look at that big one. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Where? 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 Good morning! Today we're going to check the weather. Very beautiful out here. It's a nice cloudy day. I don't know if it's going to clear up or rain because I can't get service out here, but it's a beautiful day at Patagonia Lake. Today is Wednesday. We are starting our morning off with some breakfast. We're making some burritos with ham, green chili, eggs. What else is in there? And sausage and cheese. We got some salsa over here and tortillas. It's gonna be good. Not bad, you wasn't even eating mm -hmm. We got our burritos we're eating. Mmm, delicious breakfast. Guess what? It's raining again. It's been raining a lot. But it's just so refreshing and beautiful. We're trying to rent a boat to go on the lake today. Hopefully we can once the rain stops. such a pretty walk. Look at down there. Beautiful. Look at how green it is. walking on a carpet. It's short, or maybe the cows eat it. You guys won't believe how beautiful this place is. Look at that.
saw big, that big huge dude. tarantula right you there. If you get too close, they'll throw their spikes on oh. you. It's, it's hard to see. Bush. I don't. He's moving. You see, see him now? Don't get too close. Oh. We are in our yellow submarine. We're in our canoe. We're taking the canoe out. Look at the view. Look at the ducks. So relaxing. It's beautiful out here. Oh, they're ducks. This paddling wears you out, boy. We tried to rent a big boat today and they were closed. So hopefully tomorrow, because I really want to get on one of those. It has a little overhead for shade and you can rent it for four hours, but it's like $350, but who cares? We're gonna have some fun. Like my new fishing pole? It's cool. You it's like it? Go shoot up those birds, man. Go get them. Let's see what I got. A whole lot of nothing. We'll try again tomorrow. So we came over to rent a pontoon boat. And it says zero pontoon boats available and no speed boats. But this is all the stuff that you can rent. You can rent kayaks. You can actually rent paddle boards, which I didn't know, or I would have rented one. It's like $80 for four hours. But they have so many nice things you can rent here to take out. These little ducks.
I am super bummed out that I couldn't rent a boat today. That was one of the whole points of coming out here was renting one of those pontoon boats. I could just imagine myself on the water fishing off of it, but they shut it down because of the rain and it's not even raining anymore. I'm so bummed out. Oh well, I guess I have to take a bunch of bikini pictures instead. So far, I'm having a blast. I love this place. You guys should check it out. There's so much to do here. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully, they're open. I'm still everybody's name called a shop. I'm sick of hearing everyone complain when they thought this. Taste the pain, it's like candy canes. It makes me go change into a better frame, into a better name. Society's insane. We all live for fame. So we're thinking of renting the cabin for one more night, which I'm not sure it's even available, or just packing up and then coming and renting a boat tomorrow because I really wanted to get on a boat. I'm going to get on a boat. All right, let's go back to the beach. because the boat dock is closed for inventory. Three days. For three days. The last three days it's been closed. Dang it. I've had some bad luck with that. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day. Try and be positive here. Brand new glittery tube. La 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 We're having the blast. Catch me a big old fish. having a new fishing pole because the last pole was so old it only went out about halfway this one will go way out there I ran out of string on the last one well my trip is over I'm really sad to be leaving I don't want to go home I don't want to leave this beautiful place I tried to get a boat one more time and I couldn't get it so I'm gonna have to come back and drive a boat because I really want to try doing that I've never done it bye Yeah, come here. 
Extras offset, please. Extras offset. I'm not in it, am I? <laughs>